Battery life for days, dozens of watch faces to choose from, always on display, waterproof and a comfortable fit. Now you would think I'm talking about a really expensive smartwatch, but those are just some of the features of the Amazfit BIP S Lite. Now is this an amazing smartwatch or is it an amazing fitness tracker or is it neither? I'm Stefan for 868 Tech TV. This is my review of the Amazfit BIP S Lite one year later. The Amazfit BIP S Lite was launched about a year ago and is the immediate follow up to the original BIP S. Amazfit has been producing some very good budget fitness trackers and smartwatches for the past couple years and is taking their claim in the cluttered smartwatch market. At first glance, the BIP S Lite is nearly identical to the original BIP S and is mainly different on the inside. While the BIP S has built in GPS and swim tracking, the Lite version does not. But hey, all is not lost. The 1.28 inch 176 by 176 pixel color transfective screen is amazing for the price point. Despite it not being AMOLED, colors still pop and it does get quite bright. The one great thing about the screen is that in outdoor situations, the brighter the sun, the more clearly you will be able to see the screen. Always on display is on deck, so you don't have to press the one button on the side to see what's actually happening on the screen. And besides, there is a race to week feature. The screen is also protected by 2.5D Gorilla Glass, which works quite well in protecting it from cracks and scratches, and the TFC coating prevents those pesky fingerprints. The watch itself is waterproof, up to 5 ATMs or atmospheres, well, basically 50 meters underwater. The 20 mm silicone straps are quite comfortable to wear, with the watch weighing in at just 30 grams. And these can be switched out for more stylish options quite easily as the straps are removable. It is equipped with a PPG bio tracking optical heart rate sensor, 3D axis accelerometer, 3D axis geomagnetic sensor. All of this provides fairly accurate heart rate monitoring, step counting, calorie burn, and GPS tracking when connected to your phone. Now it connects to your phone using Bluetooth 5.0 and works on Android and iOS via the Zep app, which was formerly called the Amazfit app. Disclaimer, this is not a medical diagnosis tool and should not replace your regular doctor. The Amazfit BIP S Lite is running on a 200mAh battery and can easily get you a week to 10 days of battery life if you're not constantly using the heart rate monitoring, Pi or health functions sleep tracking and just about maxing it out usage-wise. It charges via a very capable charger that comes in the box. Just line up the pins on the watch with the pins on the charger and your watch should be fully charged in just over an hour. There are three color options to choose from, Oxford Blue, Sakura Pink and Charcoal Black. I've gone with the Charcoal Black. Setup of the watch is quite simple. You download the Zep app from your store, ensure that your Bluetooth is on on your phone, Input your info such as weight and height, connect your watch, and voila, you're in. There are several things you can customize such as heart and Pi monitoring regularity, incoming alerts, alarms, and even your watch faces. You can do all this via the app and keep track of all your activities as well. Now the Zep app does not offer much options in terms of installing other applications on your smartwatch if you're using the Amazfit BIP S Lite, but it does get the job done. When you enter the app, the first page shows you your Pi score, sleep tracking, heart rate monitoring, stress levels, and BMI info. There is a menu icon at the top right hand corner, which opens up more in-depth analysis on your current health based on data obtained while wearing the watch. The second page shows you your steps and workout progress. You can even invite your friends to compete as the data can be shared to other Android and iOS health applications. When you go into your profile, you can set your various alerts and alarms, which sadly you cannot edit from the watch. Further down, you can find other settings such as the frequency of heart rate monitoring, ringtone for your watch, find watch, lift to week settings, and you can also check for software and firmware updates, something I would suggest doing before you go further into setting up your watch the first time around. The watch itself comes with a few watch faces pre-installed, which you can customize directly on the watch. But if they're not to your liking, you can simply go into the Zep app and choose one that's more your cup of tea. All it takes is a tap and a new watch face is installed. 
Though there are many third party apps with hundreds of watch faces, I quite like the variety in the Zep app. Amazfit claims there are over 100 different watch faces available via the app, but they will also let you know that the more colorful and vibrant a watch face is, it will diminish your battery life, so a word to the wise. Now on to the actual watch. It has one button which lets you unlock the watch with one press and also takes you to the main setting. Here you can access all of your main features of the watch, your status, heart rate, pie, workout, weather, alarm, timer, music, world clock and settings. The settings allows you to change your watch face, control screen brightness, find your device, turn your watch off or reset your watch. You can even customize that one button to start a specific workout when you hold it down. The watch features 14 sports modes including outdoor running, treadmill, cycling, walking, yoga and jump rope to name a few. But despite it being water resistant up to 50 meters, the smartwatch doesn't track your swimming, which is a waste of a feature, but you can bear with it though. Some other apps include a wheel clock, stopwatch, countdown timer, weather, phone finder, event reminder and music control. Swipe down from the main screen gives you access to quick toggles such as screen brightness, lock screen, do not disturb and music controls. Swiping up brings up your notifications. A couple things to notice that while your notifications will be quite legible, you won't always see what app they are from. Some emojis, well rather most emojis would also be missing and just appear as question marks and you cannot reply to any message or notification. But if you scroll all the way down, you can clear notifications from on your watch itself. Similarly, while it is pretty handy to have your watch alert you of an incoming call, you're only limited to hanging up or muting that call from your watch. But at least you can see who's calling you, right? Swiping left or right will bring up all your widgets in whatever order you decide to sign them in the Zep app. Straight out of the box, a swipe to the left will bring up the weather for your current location. A swipe down will give you more information, while further exploration gives you weather for nearly a full week. Pretty neat. Swipe left again and you will come up on your heart rate monitor. And if you go deeper, you can get some more details about what's really going on with your ticker. Another swipe to your left takes you to your Pi score. Another takes you to your step counter, which when you swipe down, breaks down your steps into distance covered. A final swipe to your left opens up the music controls. You can go back and forth to do your music and even raise all over the volume, whether you are listening on your phone or via a Bluetooth headset. All of those options for swiping left, right or up and down can be fully customized inside the Zep app. Overall, the user experience of the Zep OS is pretty smooth and straightforward. There aren't enough apps to cause the watch to lag or slow down and the connection to your phone almost always never drops and it connects quite quickly after the first time around. That's the Amazfit BIP S Lite. It's not a fully functioning smartwatch as there are too many glaring omissions that rules it out of that category. But in the same breath, it's not a fully functioning fitness device either because it's just lacking in some ways. What it does have going for it though is a great screen, long lasting battery life and a decent array of fitness tracking apps. It's somewhere in between and that's quite fine considering its price and the price of its competitors. If you got a bit more to spend, then you can check out some of the other options from Amazfit. And if you're looking for something with Wear OS, but you don't want to break the bank, then you should check out some of Teak Watches courtesy of Mobvoy. Hey, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed the review. And if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to drop a comment below. I'll be sure to reply. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more exciting tech reviews and videos. It's been fun. Till the next one, I'm Stefan.